In this video, we're gonna be installing Octane for Unreal Engine 5. And for any of you who are interested in finding out a bit more about what Octane is, it's a path tracing render engine that can create some absolutely beautiful cinematic renders. They used Octane for the opening to the Westworld series, and there's been some really beautiful work that's been showcased recently with World Creator as well. Now I want to dive straight in. I'm right here on the Octane website, which is otoy.com. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the download section and it'll prompt you to log in or create a login. It's the only way you're going to get Octane and it is free if you're using it for Unreal with the plugin. So the first thing you'll want to try is going to the download section, which is where you'll find the most recent stable release of Octane for Unreal Engine. However, this only was released up until version 4.26. So we're going to go, rather than to the download section, we're going to go to the forum. Once you're in the forum, you'll see that there is a Unreal Engine uh, link right down the middle of the page. Click on that. You'll find the tab at the very top of the page under there called Releases. And in there, there is at the very top again, Unreal Engine 0.51 Custom Expressions. So at the bottom of that first post on the forum, you'll see the UE 5.0 release and you can get the free version installer. I'd be quite curious to see if this works with 5.1, which was released very recently. I believe it does, but I guess we're going to find out. Windows is protecting my PC. Just click more info and run anyway. It does not take any time at all. So what should happen when I open Unreal Engine 5 now is I should see an Octane tab pop up at the top. So let's see if it's here. It should be here somewhere. Let's just check that it's enabled in plugins first. So we'll go to plugins. Let's type in Octane. Okay, it is there. I'm blind as a bat, guys. It's actually added an Octane menu item. I'm, I didn't even look there. You guys have probably been staring at that the whole time. Okay. <laughs> Click on Octane. Load Octane. Aha, right. This will be the last thing you'll have to do. We've got ourselves a pop-up download NVIDIA CUDNN. So we need to download this. Click the download button. So now it wants me to log in. Now it's active because we already told it to activate, so it's activating immediately. It always has to convert all of the textures and materials over to Octane, but everything should work and be compatible. So now we've got Octane installed. That's great, we've activated it. What it's done is it's created an Octane render target in my outliner, um, and in there, what you'll be able to do is select the camera um, that you're using. So I'm going to select one of them here. I'm going to select uh, this one and the camera mode being selected camera. In the render target, there's a nice big render button. You click that and it should start after a second or not even a second, very quick. All right, it is indeed rendering and it, it does not look good, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. So the simple fact is this scene was just not yet optimized for Octane. Things like fog, volumetric cloud, and the sky system aren't immediately transferred over. But I've done a little bit of work so that I don't leave you hanging. And on the next video, we'll go through how you can do the same, how you can go through the settings in Octane so you can get well acquainted with them and bring your renders in Octane for Unreal up to a level and hopefully beyond what you'd expect from the inbuilt Lumen system. So without any further ado, here is the final shot using my Gonk Droid.